Welcome back to Nesson's Draft Coverage presented by Cross Insurance. I am Doug Kai, joined by Zach Cox. After day two of the 2020 NFL Draft, Patriots wound up using five picks, two in the second round, three in the third round, kind of bounced all over the board, grabbed safety Kyle Duggar out of Lenoir Rhine. Is that, am I pronouncing that I think that it's right? Lenore Rhine. Lenore Ryan. Uh, they grabbed linebacker slash edge defender Josh Uche out of Michigan. I can pronounce that one fine. They also grabbed Anthony Jennings, another edge defender out of Alabama. Then they doubled up at tight end with Devin Asiasi out of UCLA. And probably my biggest draft crush in this entire process, Virginia Tech's Dalton Keene. Not even I could have projected that anyone was going to wind up taking him in the third round. But overall, a solid haul, I think, here on day two of the NFL draft. Doubled up really at two of their biggest needs. Grabbed a safety off the top. All of these picks are pretty much other than Keen, right around where their projections were. So I don't think there's a lot to complain about after what the Patriots did today. No, I mean, Patriots fans have been complaining throughout yes. the night, which is kind of what Patriots fans do at this point. But no, I agree with you. I think this was a, a solid haul for the Patriots. They addressed – a lot of their, their biggest needs, especially tight end, if they came out of this draft without at least one tight end, I, I think there would be a little bit of cause for concern. But they grabbed two of them right at the end of, uh, of round three. They got two versatile edge guys. Still don't really have a true kind of off-the-line inside linebacker, but there's plenty of time for that tomorrow. Uh, safety was another need that's not a pressing need but is a definitely a future need with with Devin McCourty and Patrick Chung both getting up there in age and so overall I I think this was a a pretty solid uh pretty solid night for the Patriots and overall just the kind of theme of it seemed to be versatility with, with the possible exception of Asiasi everybody in this group can play multiple positions and do multiple things and be moved around the field both on offense slash defense and on special teams so it looked like the Patriots were really trying to sort of maximize what each of these players can do on uh, with all these draft picks I can't say it started off too hot I, I personally I like the Kyle Duggar pick but this is the fifth straight second round pick that the Patriots have used on defensive back it's almost a joke at this point it started back in 2015 uh, with Jordan Richards and Cyrus Jones then in 2018, it was Duke Dawson, Joan Williams, and now Kyle Duggar. They finally broke that streak, actually, by also drafting Josh Uche. But you know, a lot of those names I mentioned even goes back even further with guys like Tevon Wilson, Razai Dowling, Patrick Chung, who eventually worked out. But most of those names I just mentioned didn't work out so hot. So I can sort of understand some skepticism from Patriots fans about New England taking a division two safety like Kyle Duggar, but I mean, he's got, he's big. He's six foot one, two seventeen, runs a four, four, nine 40. He had six punt return touchdowns in college as well. We'll see how all of that translates to the NFL level. But, you know, like I said, I can understand not being so hot on that pick, but if you look deeper into it, he was a guy who's projecting the second round. It's not like they're, they're reaching for a sixth or seventh round safety like they did with some of those other names I mentioned. This is a guy who everyone thought was going to go in this position. Yeah, the, some of the frustration is understandable just given their terrible recent track record of trying to find these players in the second round. But I think guys have to understand, to the point that you just made, this is not a Jordan Richards or a, a Tavon Wilson or, or even a Deron Harmon where the Patriots just went out of nowhere and drafted a guy that was not expected to go for several more rounds. Kyle Duggar was uh, probably a, a top four, top five safety at the worst on pretty much every pre-draft scouting service. Uh, a lot of them had had him as number two behind Xavier McKinney, who ended up going one spot before him. Uh, he, he does have special teams ability, but just because he has special teams ability doesn't mean he doesn't also have defensive ability. People are getting really sensitive about that tonight. Uh, you can be a very good player and also play on special teams. Just ask Devin McCourty. He's been doing it for 10 years now. So it's, it's definitely – he's going to have a bit, of a, uh, a bit of a target on him. He's definitely going to be in the spotlight just given how many, of, how many players like him in that same draft slot area have failed. But it's a little too early to be already kind of calling this, this kid a bust. So let, let, him, let him get out there and show what he can do. Before we get out of here, I will explain why I was so high on Dalton Keene. Good size, six foot four, two hundred and fifty-two pounds. 
solid blocker, decent run after catch, not very productive at Virginia Tech. But if you remember back in, what was it, 2017, George Kittle, also not very productive coming out of Iowa, very similar body type and athleticism. And he's wound up being one of the top tight ends in the NFL. And Dalton Keene looks up to George Kittle as the type of player that he wants to be one day, only 21 years old. Uh, I love the pick. Like I said, I, I couldn't imagine the Patriots have taken him in in the third round, but it, you know they they went with my guy there at the end, so I, I can't complain about it. I'm a little surprised you don't have balloons and champagne and everything going on over there. <laughs> yeah, well, that was all planned for tomorrow because I thought it would be a day three pick, not a day two pick. They they spoiled the surprise. Uh, but we will get out of here. We'll be back on Saturday night uh, to recap the entire draft, but. Uh, just one more thing. Nick Casario said that going into today, they had three names written down for players that they wanted to take in the second round. And two of those guys were Kyle Duggar and Josh Uche. So they also feel like they did pretty well for themselves.